How's it going guys? Today is going to be Coot Restoration Part 3. As you can see behind me, we've got the bottom cut off the old coot right there. And uh, so today we're going to measure that out. We're going to get the material cut um, back behind me on the plasma table so it'll fit the bottom part of the coot, which is upside down right there. Um, finish pulling the axle out, which is, you can see the axle tube right up there on the top. Um, I've got to build one of those from scratch. And uh, so let's get to it. Let's get that pulled apart and get them measured and then we'll set you up on the plasma table, get some uh, material cut out. Okay, you guys, I'm inside the coot right now and uh, I'm throwing tape across here so what we need for measurement. Um, so we'll know what to cut that to on the plasma table. Okay, we're right at 40 inches. So I'm gonna add an inch overlap on each side. So we're gonna cut that at 42. Lengthwise, we're gonna be going to, that's 41 inches on the length. So basically a big square is what you're looking at on the bottom of a coop. I've already added this piece in here. It's uh, gonna be welded fully on the other side. This I just kind of tacked in. This is, this is the piece that gives it its rigidity right over the axles. I'm going to go a little bit thicker on the material than what the coot actually came with. Not much. I think the material difference is 20 thousandths, so pretty, pretty small. Um, let's get set up on the plasma table and get that cut out. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys look at uh, this over my shoulder. Um, this table is a delusional design table, and this is how they set up their software. There's, it's a uh, fairly easy to use once you figure it out. So we're going to just program this in. Um, basically it's a big square. So we're going to grab our square tool here, draw out a square. doesn't matter what it is. We'll come back here. Um, we're going to set our square at zero, zero on our X and Y and wide. We're at 42 inches. And high, it was a 41 inches long, and I'm going to add an inch to that, so 42. So that basically gives us a big, basically a big square. And that's all we need to do for right that. It's just going to be one solid piece of metal. We're going to put that object to path. We're going to save that as a file. We're going to call this coop bottom. Now we're going to go to sheet cam. Sheet cam is where we write our program and our g-code. Um, we're going to do new job. I don't want to save changes. That's a spanner wrench I built for a guy the other day. Uh, new part. We're going to go pull that part over from here which we saved it as the coop bottom right there and come down here to our tool options we're going to be running this on a 60 amp 60 amp uh, cutter with a 45 amp tip so we'll add that one operation plasma cut um, outside offset and this is not 3 16 we're going to call this 12 gauge and hit OK. I usually like to run my, run this in a dry run. We'll hit that start. It's going to, you can see where it's actually going to, it's going to come over to the far, about well, knocked you off the stand. It's going to come over to the far corner and it's going to come up and around. And looks like that's going to be fine. So, I come over to this P, and that is going to save that G code. Okay, so now we come to our operating system that they've set up for the delusional design table, and we're going to load a new file. Uh, coot bottom, open that up. You'll see it pop it in here. There it is, 42 by 42. And 
Now all we gotta do is set the machine up and hit cycle start. So let's see, let me turn this on behind you. And, uh, okay, just give me a second. All right, we just went over and found the corner of the material. We're gonna reload this program. I just ran it and I didn't have it completely centered up so it went off the edge just a little bit. Um, we just move in a little bit and reset. And cycle start. Table just got refilled with water, so it might make a little bit of a mess, but it should be. bottom of the coop right there um, that ran a minute and nine seconds I believe somewhere right in there had it turned down to 75% just for a clean cut so let's get that pulled off we'll set him up here see how it's gonna fit all right I'm on my back underneath here I've got that top laid on and I've just gone around and I've marked where all my bends need to be um, so that's the uh, underneath the uh, gearbox there and we've got that all marked out. We'll flip her over and we can take it down to the metal brake and get that all bent. Right, there it is. Got her set up on there, centered up. That's where it's going to be welded in. Um, got a friend down the road that's got a metal brake. We'll go down there and we're going to bend those edges over. I uh, don't know if I need to bend the center. I mean, it's a little bit of an angle right from here down to here. But I think I can just, I can just do the 90 degree bend right here and then... Um, just push push down on it and weld it all in. I think that'll be enough. Maybe maybe just a little bit of a, a band right down there, that center section. So um, I can't do that today. I'll get that done. Um, don't know if I'll video that part, but next time you see this, I should have that bent up. Um, don't know if I'll have that on the next video. Um, I'm going to pull the axles out right now, start working on those. Um, that's going to be on the next video as well. I'm running out of time today, so we're going to call this video good for today making a little progress and please like and subscribe tell me what you think of the video um this should be a fun one okay take it easy